More than 360 million tons of meat are consumed worldwide every year. And the consumption is rising. Right now, intensive animal farming has an immense impact on climate change and is responsible for the deforestation of tropical rainforests. In addition, the conditions in which the livestock are kept are catastrophic and should be banned. In the following video, we will explain the problem and the effects of intensive animal farming, show current statistics and name solutions for the problem. After this video, you should ask yourself if you still want to eat meat and other animal products. Luckily, I am vegetarian. Today we will talk about intensive animal farming. Meat is delicious, meat is healthy and meat is easy to get everywhere. But where does your sausage or steak come from? We will talk about this question. Of course from the supermarket. But to get to the final product of meat in stores, animals need to be killed and this is a big problem. With the increasing world population, the number of livestock increased dramatically. For example, in 2019 there were 80% more chicken than in 2000. But what is the problem of food production? The global production of meat and animal products is responsible for a third of all planet heating gases emitted by human activity. With the use of animals for meat causing twice the pollution of Protestant plant-based foods, a Mayer new study has found. Because of the high amount of livestock, much of methane and CO2 is released in our atmosphere. In addition, areas such as the rainforest but also other forests have to be cut down to produce enough food for the animals. Imagine the following. You are born to be eaten. Chickens are only one month old when they are slaughtered and then processed. That makes the six months of a pig's life seem very long by comparison. But in many cases, these animals are treated and kept badly. The chicken don't even get enough space to turn around, and because of the heavy weight they have to put on, they suffer a lot of pain. But this is not all. When animals live on less space, diseases spread easier and faster. Because of the little space they get, abnormal behavior as well as abnormal physiology can occur. In our opinion, the killing of animals is wrong anyway. We live in such a privileged world where people no longer need to consume meat. Imagine being killed just because your meat tastes good or being mistreated because your skills are valuable. But how can we solve this problem? The answer is easy. Reduce your own meat consumption. But what would happen if all people on earth would become vegetarian by 2050? Actually, all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide would drop by 60%. An average family of four in the US emits more greenhouse gases because of the meat they eat than from driving two cars. But it is cars, not steaks, that regularly come up in discussions about global warming. What you should take away from today's presentation is definitely that high meat production accounts for one third of global greenhouse gases. In addition, the animals that are slaughtered are in many cases anything but well treated, which is why the support of the meat industry also supports brutal murders of living creatures. Everyone should make this decision by themselves, but giving up meat means not only a more balanced and healthier diet, but also a reduction in our CO2 emissions. Many of you probably also underestimate the importance of animal products apart from meat. Chickens and cows, for example, are used for eggs and milk products. So switching to local egg farms and plant-based milk alternatives like oat milk would also avoid factory farming, and this is a good point. But also those who have pelts in their closet often, involuntarily, support brutal killings of animals. And for those of you who can't give up meat, we have a solution or general advice. When buying meat in stores, inform yourself what kind of symbols on animal products guarantee a fair and good treating of animals 
and don't feed your cattle with food from places where forests were cut down. The symbol of Bio is approved by Nabu and probably the most known of them. Meat offers important minerals such as fats, vitamins and proteins, which are essential for the body. But a balanced diet also brings this with it, which is ultimately also healthier. For example, that the cattle survive as long as possible, they are given antibiotics. In Germany, 51% of all available antibiotics are used for intensive livestock farming. That's why it's no wonder that many people with high meat consumption suffer from heart or blood clotting problems. But diabetes and colon cancer can also be consequences of high consumption of meat. Actually, 70% of Germans have voted to end intensive livestock farming back then in 2021. And hopefully with today's presentation, you have learned about the huge issues which occur with this topic. As a final solution, agra farms could be used instead of animal feed for humans to end world hunger. The number of people with hunger in the world is less than 1 billion. And if the farms which provide food for intensive animals would be used for humans, 3 billion people could be fed. Another point is that further land, especially in tropical areas, could be replanted with trees to generate a longer life on Earth. In the future, you should ask yourself if it's really worth killing animals just because they taste good and if you want to give them the life they deserve in freedom, far away from cages and abuse.